Hey everybody, welcome back to the Peebs channel. I was just trying to live out my life in peace, but everyone on my Discord server will not stop reminding me that there is a Sonic the Hedgehog IHOP menu. I believe there's six different uh, things in all. They're themed after Tails, Sonic, Dr. Robotnik, everything, I don't know, whatever. Whatever Sonic characters there are. I'm just kidding, I know the Sonic characters. <laughs> so I figured we do some food videos on this channel. We do some gaming related stuff. It's only natural that we do a video on this. So I am gonna go to IHOP today. We are gonna have a little bit of a field trip and I'm gonna order every single item off of the Sonic the Hedgehog IHOP menu. I still haven't decided if I'm gonna do it all today or if I'm gonna go back again tomorrow. My wife is gonna help me eat the leftovers when we get back, but I'm trying to gauge not wasting food and also not having to take like two different 30 minute trips over to IHOP because there's no IHOP near me. But either way, we're gonna try them all. We'll see how it goes. Everybody, get in the car. Road trip, woo woo! All right, so I have made it over here to the IHOP, as you can see. It's a little bit far away, but not that big of a deal. On one hand, I'm excited because this is the very first video in which we are getting to test out this brand new microphone I got for our phone shots. We've been using the phone a lot more, especially when I'm going out and doing things. The channel's been doing really well. You guys have shown a lot of support. I uh, really appreciate that. Lots of likes and subscribes, right? Is that is that subtle? <laughs> so I figured I should invest some back into the channel, get some better audio for these kinds of videos. On the other hand, though, I am actually a little bit nervous. There's more people here than I would, I thought there would be. This is a weekday. I guess it is lunchtime. People might not believe this, but I am a little bit introverted, so it's gonna be pretty awkward for me to set up my little tripod on my table and everything and like record talking to myself with other people around. I will do my best though. Looks like there's three savories, three sweets. So I decided to make it easy. I'm just gonna go with the top three and then I'll get the bottom three tomorrow. <laughs> Sorry, I got interrupted. I'm gonna pretend like that wasn't embarrassing. But yeah, one of the reasons why I figured it'd be better to do two days, I mean, obviously just wasting less food because so I can eat more of it on today and then have leftovers for tomorrow and then I, I'll, I'll have a lot of buy for the next two or three days. But I also wasn't sure, like, should I get the tails two by two by two? I mean, it's literally just pancakes, eggs, and bacon. Actually, I, think I got sausage. All the five of the other items seem to be more themed than was just like two, I mean, tails has two tails, so there's two different items of each, so. But uh, I realized I read the items off while I was in the IHOP and it happened at a kind of awkward moment, so I'm just gonna kind of do some of these readings and post and we will insert them. Because honestly, these little quips, these little descriptions, Descriptions under the uh, items are pretty funny. Tails two by two by two. Two eggs, two pancakes, two bacon strips or sausage. Links. Just like tails, everything good comes in twos. Love me a good pair. Sonic's Blue Blur Special. Double the blueberries for double the speed. How does that work? How does that work, Sonic? That actually doesn't make any sense. Ask to try them with the blueberry syrup. Knuckles Chicken Sandwich. I'm slightly embarrassed to admit this, but I didn't recognize the connection uh, when I was actually doing any of the recordings. Knuckles Chicken Sandwich. It's a knuckle sandwich. Yeah, I, I get it now. Just It just took me a little bit. I'm kind of slow. A crispy chicken sandwich with bacon, lettuce, tomato, avocado, cheese, and buttermilk ranch that won't leave you hangry. Just the fact that it won't leave me hangry or hungry is really not like, that's not a, 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 an advertisement point. I assume pretty much any sandwich would leave me not hungry after I ate it, but whatever. Splitting hairs here. Order with a side of gold onion rings. The waiter actually said it came with fries and I could get onion rings if I wanted, but I mean, come on, it's Sonic, you're supposed to get the onion rings. Dr. Eggman's Eggs Benedict. This is one of my personal favorite descriptions, I think. A 300 IQ genius like Dr. Eggman knows that black forest ham, poached eggs, and hollandaise sauce makes for a superior meal. I don't know how to describe this description other than this is basically like the descriptions that conventions would give to me if I was making an appearance, if I didn't actually give one myself. Does that make sense? <laughs> like like someone writing a description of something about you or your thing for you instead of actually you writing it. That's what this one seems like. The other ones? No, Sonic actually wrote that blueberry pancake description. Sonic wrote that. I believe that. An intern wrote this Dr. Eggman one though. Amy's Sweet Strawberry. Berry delight. Vanilla ice cream, chocolate syrup, and fresh strawberries atop a golden brown waffle quarter is a perfectly sweet dessert for an epic adventure. Is it? I mean, like, what kind of epic, epic adventure can you bring ice cream to? Like, oh yeah, yeah, remember when Frodo Baggins brought ice cream with him to, on, the, on his way to Mount Doom? Ice cream. What is it, Mr. Frodo? Ice cream. 
The perfect treat for an adventure. Ask to try it with strawberry syrup. I didn't think to do that. Honestly, it's sweet enough on its own. You don't need the extra syrup. Shadows, chaos, chocolate pancakes. Go ahead and be a little chaotic. A four stack filled with chocolate chips is the ultimate pancake experience. That this is another like cop out description. Like, yeah, they don't know why they, they don't know why this has to do with Shadow uh, the Hedgehog. So they're just gonna call it the. It's, oh, it's chaos! It's chaotic, bro! It's so chaotic! Whoa! The ultimate pancake experience. The ultimate flavor experience. I could feel like someone was looking at me from my peripheral vision, and I looked over, and there's a couple eating on this booth directly on the other side of me, on the other side of this glass. And I looked over, and she was just completely turned around, staring at me like this. It's like. Uh, Hi. Like, on one hand, I get it because it's annoying people filming in public, but on the other hand, I picked the corner seat where no one was gonna be, or at least preferably as far as away from other people as I could get. Also, I'm talking just as loud as them. Like, they're right over there chatting the entire time. If anything, I'm talking quieter than them because I'm trying to not be annoying. So, I don't know. It is what it is. Whatever. Our food is here. All right, so we got the tails thing here, and now this just screams tails, doesn't it? You look at this. This is tails from Sonic the Hedgehog. Then we have these Sonic blueberry pancakes. It's blue. That makes sense. And then the knuckle sandwich. I'm really excited for this thing. It's just sausage, eggs, and uh, pancakes. Very, very tasty though. I don't know about you guys, I've always been a big fan of sausage and bacon with syrup. Is that a thing you guys do? It's like that really nice salty sweet. I also definitely like to have a little bit of ketchup and Tabasco with my eggs. If you watch this channel, food videos putting hot sauce on things uh, for me is probably not a big surprise. But yeah, I mean the food is definitely good. It's just typical IHOP. As far as a ranking for the Sonic menu, I'm gonna rank it a one out of five because it's literally just, <laughs> just freaking eggs and breakfast. Eggs, pancakes, and sausage breakfast. All right, next we got the Knuckles sandwich. I think I'm gonna put some ketchup on it, maybe. Although it has ranch on it, so I'll just try it like that first. The sandwich is actually really good. On that menu, it just said it came with cheese. It has some kind of like toasted like cheese on it, like fried cheese. Very good. Again, I'm not a big uh, avocado person. Let me get a bigger bite with avocado in it. Got one of my own hairs in it. I'm gonna hope that's mine. Yeah, pretty good. Not a whole lot of ranch. I'm gonna put some ketchup on it for my taste. And of course, we also obviously have the onion rings. I mean, this is Sonic after all. I used to not like onion rings when I was a kid. I, I was a lot picky. Here, but over the years, I've uh, tried to expand my horizons a little bit. And, uh, actually, I think onion rings, you know, I'm not gonna get them over fries like nine times out of 10, but when you do get them, they really hit the spot. So I don't know exactly what the sandwich had to do with knuckles necessarily, but it does have the onion rings, which is cool. I mean, it's a lot less basic than the pancake meal, the tail thing. Oh, give it a 3.5 out of five. All right, next we have the Sonic pancakes. I was really looking forward to these. All right, the Sonic pancakes were really, really good. As far as I know, Sonic doesn't have any direct connections to blueberries, but uh, I guess blueberries are blue. The blue sauce was blue. Sonic is blue. So mix the blue theming in with the very delicious pancakes. Oh, I'll give it a 4.5 out of five. Why not? I'm a generous man. The pancakes were super filling though. Oh my God. They trick you because it feels like you're just eating like kind of one pancake thing, but there's four pancakes stacked on top of that. Plus all the sugars from the syrups, the blueberry and everything. Oh, ugh. I was feeling pretty good until I got about halfway through the Sonic pancakes and I was so stuck. It's kind of sleepy now. But yeah, filming in there was kind of awkward. I was already a little bit embarrassed, but then that girl was staring at me. And I'm telling you, she was really staring at me. I could feel her presence. She was staring at me for about seven seconds. I sat there and paused. I was like, is she staring at me? And she made sure that I looked at her to realize just how mad she was at me before she looked away. She was disgusted. I don't really know why though. I mean, I wasn't talking very loud. She was talking way louder than I was. If anything, I was specifically talking well below my normal speaking voice, which is fairly loud to be honest, to be fair. But if I had someone there with me, I would have been first of all talking a lot more. I didn't speak very much at the table. And I would have been talking to the person in front of me a lot louder than I would have been talking to the camera. So I don't really know what she was so upset about. Like, whatever. I could very easily hear them making fun of me after that. But it is what it is. I know it can be annoying people filming in public. I I didn't really want to do it either. I mean, I guess I did because I was there doing it, but maybe I'll just get takeout next time. The problem is that I live so far away from the IHOP that by the time I get back, it'll be cold. And then I can't really eat in the car either because it's like pancakes and stuff. Like I need a knife and a fork to eat this. But I don't know. I'll look at the footage, see how it feels, and uh, I'll make the decision tomorrow. I'll see you guys tomorrow with three more Sonic meals from IHOP. Come on, step it up. All right, I am back at IHOP for day two. I am ready to eat more Sonic. I'm ready to devour his flesh. Except I guess I already ate him yesterday, so we're just gonna devour the flesh of like Dr. Robotnik or whatever. So I thought about it. I am still gonna film in there, obviously. Uh, I'm gonna do some sort of post commentary here in uh, the car. So it'll be a little bit more natural and easier for me to speak at a more, well, is this really a natural voice? I'm actually, I, I'm talking kind of loudly. I can talk in my normal screamy voice. How about that? All right, let's go in and order the food. Oh my God, there are so, there's so many more people in here. 
There's so many more people in here now. I could not. I, I couldn't get a table at the in the corner like I did last time. I don't know if I can if I can manage to set up my tripod and record. I'll I'll, I'll, I'll do my best. All right. First up is the Doctor Robotnik Eggs Benedict thing. I'm not big on runny eggs, so I did actually get mine hard. How would you say it? Uh, not poached. I had my yolk cooked through. Just a fried egg, basically. I actually don't think I've ever had hollandaise sauce before, but I really liked it. What even is hollandaise sauce again? I can't remember. It's like, it's like egg yolk boiled in like something. Egg yolk butter. I thought it tasted really buttery. And usually lemon juice, I guess. And I think it's sort of simmered into a sauce. A smooth yellow sauce. I never figured I would like it, so I never ordered it. And usually anytime I go get breakfast, which is not that often, I just get like you know, hash browns, maybe chicken fried steak or something like that. But I really liked the hollandaise sauce. In fact, I really liked this entire uh, item. I thought this might actually be the one I liked the most, which I was not expecting. I thought it would be my least favorite. So that was a nice surprise. Good job, Dr. Eggman. And I like the theming. He's Dr. Eggman. I always called him Dr. Robotnik because of the cartoons back in the day, but his name is Dr. Eggman. So you got an egg themed meal. You know, hey, close enough. I'm gonna give it a 4.6 just so Dr. Eggman can top Sonic. <laughs> Good job, Eggman, you finally won. Then we had the Amy Waffle. This one was a lot smaller than I thought it was gonna be. I was gonna save most of it for my wife because she really likes uh, fruity uh, waffles, but there was really not that much to save. Also, there was ice cream on it, which I didn't realize there was gonna be, so that's not gonna really make it home very well. And it was more chocolatey than strawberry. There's only like six or seven strawberries on it. It certainly wasn't bad, though. I liked it. Uh, I would've liked a little bit more strawberries, maybe a little less ice cream. I guess the theming for this one is that she's small, cute, and sweet, so we need a small, cute, and sweet item. I don't know, but did this cost less than the other ones? It better have, because it was way smaller. Let me see. Yes, it did. Okay, so there's at least that. God, Dr. Eggman, 1649? <laughs> Criminal. He's robbing me. He really is a bad guy. I take it back. He's a 4.4 now. Sonic wins. Weirdly enough, this is the one menu item that is left off the official IHOP uh, website. I don't know why. They, 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 you forgot Amy, IHOP. I mean, I get it if you didn't want to invite her, but come on. Yeah, this one was really, really, really tasty. And by that I mean forgettable, not tasty. I actually just realized I don't know that much about Amy. So I looked up some information about her. She is unknown, 12 years old, status, alive, and straight. Me too. I'm gonna give Amy four out of five. Keep it up, Amy. Just work on rem me remembering you a little more. That's really your only problem in life. And last we had the, probably the item I was most excited about, Shadow and his chocolate pancakes. I don't order sweet pancakes very often. In fact, very, very rarely, but like I said, if I do, I would get sort of chocolate flavored, chocolate chip pancakes, something like that. And I've, I'm usually a fan of like chocolate chocolate in terms of like pancakes or pastries. I love chocolate cake donut with chocolate icing. Although I was complaining in that Oreo video we did recently about the chocolate covered uh, chocolate Oreos. So some people were mad about that. The thing is I like the a different kinds of textures, you know? You get the chocolatey cake with the chocolate melted chocolate chips. Those are two good textures that go together. That being said, it still was way too chocolatey. It had a little bit of whipped cream on the top, which was very, very complimentary. I like my complimentary flavors, but there was just nowhere near enough. I ended up getting some of the ice cream from the uh, leftover Amy waffle to eat with the chocolate uh, pancakes. It still somehow was not quite enough. Honestly, the whipped cream on the top was what was really good with it. it. It just needed more of that, I think. The outside was a little dry, though. I will say the deeper into the middle of the pancake you get, that's when it's really, uh, really smooth, gooey chocolate goodness. Somebody is right next to me. Act natural. We're not, we're not filming. We're not, we're not weird. We're just doing normal, just sitting here. Okay, they're gone. Over the years, I've actually gotten really good at doing embarrassing things in public. That wasn't always the case. Uh, I remember a long time ago filming in the middle of a, the Denton Square in Texas. I sat in the same spot to film a three second shot. It took me like an hour and a half to build up the courage. I was just sitting there like fiddling with my like camera, pretending to fiddle with the camera settings or whatever, and just sort of sitting there. And eventually I finally built up the courage to film it and I just bailed instantly. Uh, but over time, I got way better at doing that kind of stuff. It's like, I don't care, whatever. Like, I don't know whoever's around here. I'm never 
going to see them again in my life. Just get in and get out. But it is a little different when you're just sitting there and like talking to the camera for a long time. Like I have to sit there and like in the restaurant and talk. Like every, I, I, I'm not going anywhere. The people in here aren't going anywhere. I can't just do some little goofy bit and bail. It's also a little less socially acceptable because we're in like a restaurant or, or something. But anyway, I like to do these field trip videos. So I'll try to get at least a little bit better at it. Yes, the, so the chocolate uh, shadow, the hedgehog pancakes. Definitely not bad though. Not as good as I thought. I think I actually like the Sonic blueberry pancakes better. As far as the theming for the uh, Shadow of the Hedgehog pancakes, it was like, oh, just why not just be chaotic? <laughs> I think that was basically them saying that because they didn't want to say that he's black, so they picked chocolate pancakes. I think that they just didn't want to say that, but I think that's actually why they, that, I think that's actually it. So yeah, I, the, the most confusing of the theming of all of them for me, the Shadow of the Hedgehog chocolate pancakes. I made sure to not eat as many of them this time. Oh my God, I ate so much of the Sonic pancakes last time. I, I had such a bad stomach ache driving home. Like, I'm not even making this up. I, I, w I didn't know if I was gonna make it. I thought I might have to pull over on the side of the road and either puke or otherwise. Luckily, I actually do keep Tums in my uh, in my car here. Oh, I guess it's Pepto Bismol. People are always making fun of me because I'll like eat like four or five Oreos or whatever, and I'm like, my tummy hurts. I'm sorry, guys. I don't know what to tell you. I'm not 18 years old anymore. My tummy gets upset if I eat too much sugar. But yeah, I paced myself a little bit this time. I'm gonna give Shadow the Hedgehog 3.8. You know, 3.8. That's all you get from me. I was a little disappointed. I need more whipped cream. Yeah, sorry. I think overall the uh, collab with IHOP. If I'm being honest, the food was good. Don't get me wrong. I like IHOP food, but the actual collaboration was fairly underwhelming. I mean, it was just some food that was vaguely Sonic the Hedgehog themed. Kind of a fun little novelty, but nothing really substantial. They had things that you could like get DLC items or something if you use their app. I'm not downloading an IHOP app, I'm sorry. Same goes for fast food restaurants. I'm not getting your app, okay? Hey, you, I pulled at the drive-thru. Like, uh, you wanna order on the app? No, I drove through the drive-thru. I'm ordering on the drive-thru. I'm not getting the app. But yeah, nothing even like physical came with the menu items. It would've been cool if you got like, I don't know. I would say a toy or something, but there's no way they're gonna do that. I, like even stickers or something, like anything. I, I'll take a Sonic themed napkin, just like anything to take home and be like, I ate the Sonic. I was at Sonic at the IHOP. I would say to my wife as she stood there staring at me in, 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 in disappointment. And then she asked for a divorce right after that. And, but then I offer her the, the pancakes and the waffles. So then she says, never mind. That's how that would have gone. But yeah, something sort of more tangible would have been nice other than just some IHOP food that, you know, sort of is kind of like Sonic, I guess. But it was still fun. I had fun with it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video too. Let me know if you want to see anything else like this in the future. Hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Like, you really liked the video. This was embarrassing for me, okay? Come on. I mean, you don't have to, but come on.